Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Oh, we're finally getting out of our room. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit you're being... It doesn't look like a gorilla. Alan, I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Okay. A little walk in some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Gotcha. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery. Is that me? Golden Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid. <coughs> I honestly believe we can get this thing under control. Can I swing on one of these guys? Just whoop out, whoop out, whoop out, whoop out. Ooh, fancy elevator. I'm going in first. Touch all the buttons. Touch all the buttons. All of them. Three, two, Alan, one, B, open doors, close doors, alarm, and stop. To get right into the heart of the matter as oh, my as God. After an episode. Oh, so my God. I'm just going to say this. I've already been through three. Is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. <sighs> and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. I'm leaving you. Fuck you. Thinking, Open the door! Light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. I am the main character in my story. An elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness mm -hmm. are trying to stop you. Yes. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. Mm -hmm. Under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. I don't like that I can't, like, center the dude. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Mm -hmm. This makes far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind. No. You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both <coughs> know this. Everything can be explained logically. Everything is explainable through science. I need to get up there. I I need to get up there. I'm gonna get that thermos. Keep talking, dude. Ah, God damn it. Why are all the doors here locked? Why do you have a giant sundial? Uh, Cauldron Lake Lodge, 1912. Okay, yeah, I can just read it. Uh, beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle Im illuminated. TZ. And the memory of a dear friend and pet. Poet. I said poet, not pet. Whoops. Wow. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other <sighs> side of the road. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Mm -hmm. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, Whoop. I don't recall there being a mention Whoop. of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Telling you is good Dark news. forces. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Mm -hmm. Surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. 
Yeah. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. Mm -hmm. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words <laughs> echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with mm -hmm. Once you Hurry up, unlock that, the door. We can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Well, Checkpoint reached. To the office wing. Only. I'm gonna scan this just to see what it does. Oh! It goes to a YouTube video. Hold up. I'm gonna look at this real quick. Hmm. Hold up, I'm doing something. Like a birth. To say that would be a lie. Nothing like a birth. The opposite. He staggers to his feet. A carcass of a deer lies on the shore, rotting amidst driftwood. The man is afraid. Beside himself. Who is he? He doesn't himself know. Dark waves have washed it away. A blank page where this horror story will be written. He remembers darkness. Feels the shadow pressing down on him. Coming after him. He must get away. He runs to the forest. To a fate worse than death. Kill me. Alright. Yeah, that was a little video on just what it said. I tried to be as quiet as I could. And apparently there are more. Power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated. Mm -hmm. There was no key. I'm gonna go fight this dude. What does it say? There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off. Night springs. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how oh, should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Fuck yeah. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Ah. I'm assuming that's Tor and that's Odin? I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy that's the sanest thing i've heard in a while <laughs> <laughs> say you're all right tom hey we like him don't we bro he's got to go to the farm the anderson farm valhalla we wrote it all down lest we forget a crash course all you need to know to get your head right you need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. <laughs> Thomas Zane's writing an assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. 
As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. All right. <coughs> My head was clearing up. Or according... Oh, hold up. No. Oh. Episode 4, The Truth. All right. Apartment. All right, yeah, we'll do this. The of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wait. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. What the fuck is happening? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. I'm taking it. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Tor just hit that man, hit that woman with a hammer. Oh, it's a military dude. Was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Mm -hmm. Hartman had been playing me all along. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe. Right. Paintings are pretty cool. What's up, fucking Barry? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right. Oh, the manuscript. And the revolver. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. Yeah. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. Can I pull the trigger? Not so crazy now, am I? Six rounds. I had to find a way out. Whoop, that ain't it. Ah, shit. Oh, okay. Shit, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ah. Uh. Oh, 
off the generator. All right. Uh, why is the uh, why is the place so small and why is it taking so many? All right, cool. So all that's happening. Oh shit! Oh. Can I pick up like a flashlight or a flare? That works too. Alright, cool. So I see that I'm gonna get my one time use things. Another manuscript page. Anything in that door? Nope. Probably not that one. Probably not this one either. Ooh. That is a giant ball. Come on, try and hit me. You broke the door, you stupid bitch. Help, help. Ooh, ooh. And I have six more rounds in my revolver as well. Um, Reed. Ah, oh, suspended. Hey, come on. We gotta get going. Ooh, and tire. The gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this out. Oop. Thanks. Go get the car. The Come on. And I only have five batteries as well. Alright. Now I have two flares, 12 rounds, and seven batteries. When in doubt, go left. All right, so we should have went right. God, I fucking hate mazes. Yeah, you're about to hear some fucking shots fired off as well, if they keep it up. I'm just gonna start going right. Is that the one dude? From inside? The one that was always fighting? I'll take up that. Is this a 22 revolver? No wonder it's taking two shots to take these fucking guys down. Oh shit, that bird scared me. You okay, big dog? What the fuck? Yo, fucking dodge, dude. Quite scary. Ah, nice. It's Barry. Ow! You're alive. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Um, well, wait. Slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the box, so. 
<sighs> God damn it, Barry. Barry, cover your ears. It's about to get really fucking loud up in this bitch. God damn it, Perry. Come on, you fucking birds. Fuck off, all of you. Almost didn't do it there. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You <laughs> know what? You owe me big time for this. <laughs> he took the cut out. If we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Al how can you know that I know Barry I can Al I know listen I can bring her back I can find her there's something special about this place the lake it it does something to the works of art created here it makes them come true but there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas mm -hmm. before it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board. Very I'm weird shit. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! God damn it! <laughs> Make some noise, at least. I lost my gun in the crash. Ah, oh, God, fucking damn it, Barry. Not Barry, but Al. All right, so this is going to be where I end the video at. Um, yeah, I don't know what I had to say after that, but anyway, I'm gonna say thank you all so much for watching, and do not forget to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.